In this video, we're going to, to discuss uh, one of the more fundamental forecasting models, which is referred to as the moving average model. So uh, the moving average model is a fundamental model uh, in which we consider, so consider an error term, uh, consider an error term, okay, an error term, that's u sub t, so that's some error term. And we assume that that error term uh, follows, okay, it follows a white noise process. And if you recall, in the last video, we said that a white noise process was any process with no discernible structure. And we further impose that the mean, okay, of this error term or the mean of this white noise process here is equal to zero. Furthermore, we assume that it also has a constant variance equal to sigma squared, which is less than infinity for sample properties. Now, if we want to explain or forecast some time series variables, say yt, okay, one way to do this is by using some linear combination of white noise processes. In this case, in a moving average model, we're going to use white noise error terms such that the value of yt, uh, your series here, would depend on present and past values of some white noise error term. And mathematically, we denote that as something like this. So you have yt, that's equal to mu, our model intercept, plus ut, plus, say we have theta 1, ut minus 1, plus theta 2, ut minus 2, plus theta 3u t minus 3, plus so on until uh, q, u t minus q. So you can see that the value of yt here is some linear combination or some function of a linear combination between present and past values of a white noise error term. Okay. Uh, note that we often denote a moving average model as m a q where q represents the number of, so that q is the number of moving average lags. Okay. Uh, or, or we denote it as the qth okay, moving average order. Okay. Uh, this expression here, that one, we can express it uh, in sigma notation or in more formal notation in the form below. So that's yt, which is equal to your model intercept, plus sum, okay, i equals 1 until the qth lag, okay, theta i, ut minus i plus u sub t. So we can express it in sigma notation as in 2 or in the regular more conventional notation as in 1. So central to understanding the moving average model and the AR model later on when we discuss it is the concept of something called a lag operator. Okay, A lag operator. And uh, for example, if we want to mathematically represent the immediate past value of yt, we can denote this in lag operator notation as so immediate past, immediate past, okay? We can denote this as L Y T, which is equal to Y T minus one. If you notice the exponent of L here is just one. So it's as if we lag the value by one term and L corresponds to that lag um, function, which is our lag operator. Hence, we generalize this as the past value of yt for i periods ago as L i yt is equal to yt minus i. And using this notation, we can rewrite our previous notation, which is 2, as 3, given as yt equal to mu plus sum i equals 1 to q uh theta i, l, i, u, t, plus u, t. So we have that there. And uh, you can denote it in a more compact form in 4 as yt is equal to mu plus theta 
L U T. So it's just a more compact form which you may see in some articles moving forward. So in the next video, we'll discuss some properties of the moving average model.